What's going on, boxing heads? It's your boy, Pool Counter Boxing, coming back at you with another boxing video for the boxing heads and the boxing minds. Please subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. So, you know, your boy, Danny Garcia, did an interview with Brian Custer, right? And, um, you know, the boy's still salty about his loss to uh, Errol Spence Jr., you know, and, um, you know, he tried to, you know what I'm saying, make excuses about how the power punching were the same. The only difference were the jabs. Okay? He's still talking about the jabs. You know the jab. The one that was in his face all night. The one that offset his rhythm. The one that, you know what I'm saying, stopped him from punching. You know what I'm saying? The one that stopped him from winning the fight. Yeah, that jab. You know what I'm saying? He was saying the only difference was the 5,000 jabs that Earl Smith Jr. landed on his ass. In his face. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? In his neck. You know what I'm saying? In his ribs. So, you know, if it wasn't for those damn jabs, Danny Garcia would have, you know, what, got a draw? Is that what he's going to say? Or he would have won? Is that what he wanted to say? But either way, you know, Danny Garcia is delusional. You know, he's still fighting. That fight in his mind right now. You know what I'm saying? He just erased all Errol Spence Jr. jabs, and he's, he won the fight in his mind. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, Brian Custard asked him about, you know, the fight between Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford. Well, this burns... This burns Danny because he's still trying to erase those jabs from his fight so he can win. In his mind, he's still fighting. You know, um, you know, you seen what he looked like after the fight. Um, his daddy said, "Stop saying, you know, saying that you, you know, saying you, the jab was, you know, saying the difference. You know, saying you did just fine." And um, it was just playing in the parent. It was trying to save some kind of face. But you can't save face when you got dominated, you know what I'm saying, for 12 rounds, Danny Garcia. So, you know, you ask somebody you just dominated, you know, Air Spence Jr. dominated, right? And Porter, you know, he's got the same syndrome. You know, he's got the Air, I'm going to start calling it the Air Spence Jr. syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Because when Air Spence Jr. whip your ass, these guys can't seem to believe it. And we'll add... I think Terrence Croft is going to be a part of this this fraternity, this, you know, Errol Spence Jr., you know what I'm saying, beaten fighter uh, fraternity. And he'll be joining them soon. But, um, and plus, you know, he's probably going to be looking for an eye and all that. But, you know, he said, um, Danny said that, you know, Spence is big and strong. And, it, you know, they always try to label Earl Smith Jr. that he's big and strong. They never give him credit for his skill. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, all they all they say they single out and downplay everything he does in the ring, which is kind of interesting because you know the jab is a skill. You know what I'm saying? The way you use it, an educated jab. You know what I'm saying? Danny said he knew when and where to throw it. Right. So, but he gave Crawford, you know, what I'm saying the, uh, you know, the labels the more skilled or talented fighter that's what he said talented fighter he said but you know every time he mentioned Earl is he's big and he's strong even though Earl didn't even use any size in their fight he just simply outboxed Danny Garcia you see what I'm saying so they can't just simply say you know Earl's been sharing your boxing IQ and you know his his control of range his you know what I'm saying boxing knowledge you know what I'm saying helped him you know what I'm saying defeat him you know what I'm saying? He outsmarted me. That's what you should say, Danny. Not that he's just big and strong. So he gives the stronger title to Errol Smith Jr. But he's trying to say that uh, Crawford is, is more talented. So if that ain't salt, I don't know what is. I don't know what it is about Errol Smith Jr. He's just another fighter, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he don't carry himself in an arrogant way. You know what I'm saying? He just comes in there, whip your ass. Then he goes back to his farm, to his kids and his horses, and he go chill. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why I like the guy. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he has good, great character. You know what I'm saying? And now that he's focused, rededicated himself to the sport, you know what I'm saying? These fighters, you know, they can't believe the results. You know what I'm saying? What he did to you, Danis Ugas. You know, you heard Danny Garcia say, I, I, I didn't know he was going to do him like that. I didn't know he was going to do him like that. I thought that shit was crazy. I said, come on now, you seen what Arrow was like when he was on his A game. You know what I'm saying? You seen what he did to you, and he was only 40%. You know what I'm saying? So don't act like you're surprised. You know what I'm saying? You already know what this guy can do from what he did to you when he wasn't even a full 100%. So, you know what I'm saying? Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Danny Garcia, you still salty. You know what I'm You want to see Arrow lose, so you know what I'm saying? You're going to up... Terrence Crawford, like everybody else who loses against Spence, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're going to, you know, pray for his downfall, you know what I'm saying? You're going to stick, you got an Errol Spence Jr. doll in your closet and you're sticking needles in it, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're throwing rotten cabbage on the doll, you know what I'm saying? Hoping to have some kind of effect on Errol Spence Jr. in this fight coming up with Terrence Crawford. And I know all, you know, but Crawford fanatics, got Errol Spence Jr. voodoo dolls and they're sticking needles in the doll, you know what I'm saying? Hoping that, you know, Errol Spence Jr. is affected by it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're just going to have to you know what I'm saying? Take whatever Danny Garcia says uh, for the, the legends with a grain of salt, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to see your boy Errol Spence Jr. lose because he's on top, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how it is when you're on top. People want to see you fall. So, you know, but that's the name of the game. This has been Pool Kind of Boxing. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. See my boxing fam in the next one. Peace.